What's going on, Wargamers? This is Budget Wargamer back with another edition on how you can save money when painting your Nurgle army for 40k. So this tip will basically ring true for Age of Sigmar as well if you're doing Nurgle. Um, here we've picked up one of the Malignant Plague Casters, and this is in the typical gray plastic that comes in the starter set. So... The problem with that is what happens when you want to get those quickly painted up to match the green guys that come in the other sets. So here's one of the Plague Marines that comes in the nice, awesome green plastic. So this, you know these green plastic models, if you haven't seen these before, I'm assuming you have, these come in a lot of the easy-to-build kits as well as the two smaller starter sets. But for some reason, the bigger starter set still comes in the gray plastic, the standard plastic. Really digging these green plastics. So... The problem is you still have to spray paint a base coat over these before you get started on uh, painting them, but at least right out of the box you can see a drastic difference. This one looks more like Plague Marines. This one, well, generic, right? So what we want to do is make this guy look as close to this guy without spending a bunch of money. So rather than buying Games Workshop spray paints, what I like to use uh, Krylon and Rustoleum both have these really great camouflage um, spray paints. So let's introduce you guys to these. If you haven't seen these yet, this is the Rustoleum camouflage. So you pick these up at like Walmart, uh, places like that. And this particular color that we're going to be using is Army Green. So there's a SKU number if you want to pick it up. Or look for it online, see if your Walmart's got it in stock. Chances are they do, and it's about $4. So it's not a 100% perfect match, but what makes it awesome is that it is ultra flat, and it's so easy to spray, so it doesn't mess up your models. It doesn't give you runs and streaks very easily. Bond's great to plastic, as noted right there, and that's the truth. But these ultra flat camo paints are one of the best primers that you're able to pick up and sometimes they're even in like the three dollar range but um usually i'd say like four dollars so you're spending like a quarter of what you would spend on a gw um, primer and then take a look at this guy so when we take a look so here's a malignant plague caster that i've already sprayed so you've got your base guy we'll set him here in the back and then we've got the guy that we've just primed so i, I don't know if i've missed any areas on him yet but you can see that for a little $4 spray paint, there's no gloss. All the Games Workshop, the Army Painter, the Vallejo um, paints, those things paint right on there, like slick as you know what. Um, and these guys are just like ready to go with very little cost. So this is a budget Wargamer tip in which you could save a heck of a lot of money. But you'll see that the paint color is not exact um, not to mention I don't think this um, green plastic or this green yeah this green plastic really matches any of the primers anyways it's just a really cool color but when we come back and we want to compare you've got your guys out on the table and at least they're all in the relative tone color but then you can go on and very quick quickly paint this guy up you can even just do it bit by bit you know, I could paint his base black and he would blend in a heck of a lot better with this guy. But, you know, we'll do a painting tutorial, maybe not with the Malignant Plague Caster, but I think what I'll do is I'll start with the Pox Walkers and do a Nurgle How to Paint series and show you guys how to take a model from this to this and then all the way up to finished. And we might do those in a multi-step uh, video series for you guys to be able to see, even if it's just one model. But go ahead and comment below what you guys think. Again, this was the Rustoleum Camouflage. And it's ultra flat army green. You can pick that up at most Walmarts, some other hardware stores, but like Walmarts never failed me. And then that's a quick and easy way to get your army, especially if you bought the guys in the gray plastic and want to get them up to the snuff. You can pick them up rather quickly. So easy tip.